Alicia and it is week five of the Great British Bake Off Recreations. This week it was pastry week and I am doing a pasty. Now they said it was Cornish pasties but they're not Cornish pasties because one they don't have the Cornish pasty filling in and two they're not made in Cornwall so they're just pasties. So don't call it Cornish pasty. <laughs> it's like champagne. You can't call it champagne because it's not for champagne. Anyway, um, I am doing a chicken bacon pasty which is going to have some potatoes, leek, a bit of chicken stock, a bit of cream in. We've never made a pasty before but I love eating them so here we go. So first thing I need to do is make my pastry. Now, with baking I usually create my own recipes but I have got no clue when it comes to pastry so I'm just using one off BBC Good Food. Um, I need 500 grams of plain flour. I can open the packet. Oh, it's really glued down. Oh, I've got set time on. Okay, so the baker's had two hours to make eight. I'm only making four, so I'm going to deduct half an hour. And I'll take away two minutes because I've um, me forgotten forgetting to put a timer on. 503, that will do. And then you need cold butter and 20, uh, 25 grams, 250 grams. Um, you can, I've been Googling, you can use 50 grams, why do I keep saying 50 grams? 50% 50 butter and 50% lard, but I'm just using butter because it's what I like. I usually work with cold butter, but oh my gosh, I usually work with warm butter for buttercream. Again, yeah, usually work with cold, so this is new. So you have to do it in cubes. So I'll see you in about five minutes. <laughs> and then uh, we just rub it all together. So you just want to rub it between your fingertips until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. And I'm going to be here a while. You can use a food processor, but. I feel that's cheating a bit. <laughs> I feel like if you're going to say you make pastry, you need to do it the proper way, not just like with a machine. But then I could say that I cheat at all my cakes because I make cakes with a machine. I shot myself in the foot there, haven't I? <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm making shortbread pastry. I think I forgot to tell you that. Um, some of the bakers did puff pastry. I think a pasty has to be short crust, so that's what I am doing. Plus, it's a lot easier. My hands are starting to hurt. <laughs> but I have been baking all day. I have made four different Halloween cupcakes, and that's probably why I'm a bit achy and tired because it is six o'clock in the evening, and I've been baking since about twelve o'clock, so for six hours. So I'm slightly tired and feel like you're just going to sit down. But this is our dinner tonight. Well, if it all goes well and not on the fail. So, I'm just getting on with it. It's not moving. And this is where people who use a food processor don't look like cheese anymore. They look like geniuses. <laughs> so, we are getting somewhere. And the top tip want to see if you've got big nuggets then just, just give it a shake and a tap. It should rise to the top. So I am going to wash my hands and then we are going to combine it with some water to make the pastry all together. Now I need to add six tablespoons of water. I know this isn't a true tablespoon but my true tablespoon I've used earlier and I haven't washed it yet. I'm going to start off with four because everything I've read says if you add too much water then the pastry becomes hard when you eat it. So it's better to start off small and add more if you need it. Which I think I do. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do the rest. I have to bring it all together. Nice and 
that's my birthday. So, I'm just going to roll it into a bowl, then cover it in fling, fling film. Oh, I told you I'm tired. Cling film and chill it for half an hour. What time is it? One hour fourteen. So when it gets to forty-five minutes, and then how long does it take to cook? Oh, a long time. <laughs> forty-five minutes apparently. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not going to work, then, is it? That's why they have two hours. And I know half an hour is a big chunk of time to take off. But I've given it myself now, so I have to meet it. <laughs> Let's see if there's a different recipe that says any different. 50 minutes, we're getting higher. Okay, well... Sucks to be me right now. <laughs> okay, filling. So as I said before, I've got chicken and bacon. Now, you're probably going to laugh at me, but I can't stand the feeling of chicken. <laughs> I love the taste of it, but I can't stand the feeling of it. It's all slimy and disgusting, so I can't cook chicken. I know it sounds pathetic, but I just can't. So Matt has to cut all the chicken in our house. So he's kindly done it for me, and also the bacon. Bacon I'm slightly better with, but still not great. I think it's because there's less of it, where chicken you have to like dice it. Oh, no thank you. Anyway, chicken and bacon are already prepared. So I'm going to start peeling the potato, chopping it all. I'm going to do it into little cubes, and also a leek and some garlic. Oh, I also hate potato skins. This is why I'm, I'm a baker. It just, it's just the texture that freaks me out. Anywho. Oh, I hate garlic as well. This, this video is basically just moaning about food. I love the taste of these foods, but I hate preparing them because garlic, it just, it just stinks. Okay. Now for cooking time. voiceover Alicia for the next few minutes and I have finished making the filling so I'm just gonna lightly dust my work surface ready to roll out the pastry oh and don't forget the rolling pin too because otherwise it's just gonna stick to the rolling pin and it's gonna fall apart and I'm just gonna roll it really thinly so some of the feedback from Paul was that the pastry wasn't thin enough so I'm just rolling it as thin as I can really probably to the size of a coin and it is starting to break apart <laughs> I think it was slightly too short I probably should have added more water in it at the beginning so another one of the requirements was that they had to be at least 15 centimeters so this plate is 20 centimeters which I'm using to cut out for circles and then I'm gonna fill them fold them over and try and crimp them. I have no idea how to crimp it, so I have YouTubed how to do it and I'm sort of giving it a go. <laughs> it, it works in the end, but definitely nowhere near 20 crimps, which is what you should have for a pas pasty. Yeah, pasty. I know they said pastry, but no, pasty. So that's my first one done and then I'm gonna do the other three and I'm just kind of pressing it together because my pastry is so short that it isn't really sticking <laughs> it's 
so I'm popping them on a couple of baking trays that I have put some grease proof paper down as well so they don't stick to the baking trays and then I'm going to make an egg wash and hopefully try and seal all the holes and the crimping so the filling doesn't spill out halfway through baking. <laughs> and I got shell in my egg wash. <laughs> I obviously got it out but I got shell in it. I literally cracked one egg and I got shell in it. It's just so typical of me. I'm so clumsy. I should have been called the clumsy baker, not the geeky baker. <laughs> and I'm gonna put them in the oven for 25 minutes and see how we get on. And I burnt myself on the oven. I told you I am clumsy and it genuinely really, really hurt. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I'm well impressed with that! Well, I hope it tastes nice now. Might be a little hard, but let's try, try the pastry first. Well, oh, I love the homemade pastry. It was very crumbly, which makes me think I've not worked it enough. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!